Hey guys, today I'm here to unbox the L Eco headphones. These are the new USB Type C headphones. It's kind of an interesting product. It's probably the first of its kind. This directly plugs into the USB Type C port. It does not have the traditional 3.5 millimeter connector. This is compatible with the new LE2. And surprisingly, they managed to ship this to me before my new phone, so I don't have my new phone to test it out. Anyways, so this actually item actually costs around almost $20 US. So it's actually not a cheap pair of headphones. You gotta keep this in mind when you're buying the LE Eco LE2 because the phone itself does not include one of these headphones. So if you actually want to listen to music with a headphone, then you actually gotta buy this and it's actually not a cheap item. So whilst the phone might be very cheap, the added cost of this special headphone is not. There has been rumors that Apple is going to go this way as well. So it's just completely removing the traditional um, slot. So who knows? But anyways, LE Eco went for it first. So let's unbox this and check this out. So here we, I'm just going to get guys a close up on the item so you can see. So as you can see very clearly, there is just no traditional port. It does resemble the, somewhat of the Apple design, this pure white ear pod type design. On the back, we have the product description. I kind of like the fancy uh, remote here as well. So anyways, here we go. Let's go for the unboxing. The box itself is a plastic box. It doesn't actually feel cheap. This definitely does um, give you the feel of a premium product and I think they really want you to do this I mean you're paying the 20 bucks and that's not a that's not cheap I mean it's 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 a considerable um, price to pay for it so all right so it's a pure white box let's, let's open and check it out all right so inside here we have also kind of plastic holder let's take it off let's pop it back oops all right, managed to pop it off. It's pretty simple packaging. There is an instruction booklet on the back, but I doubt you really need to know how to use it because it's pretty much plug and play. So you can see this is actually a little bit thicker than your traditional cable. There's also a non-tangle cable, so it's rather hard to tangle. So I think that's a pretty good about this design here is that you know, they, they thought about it and they're going to use a uh, thicker cable for it. So here you see the Type-C connector. And I'm going to give you a close-up on the earbud. Let's see if the camera is going to focus on that. So as you can see, it resembles a little bit like um, a Apple earbud. And it fits very, very comfortably. It's designed to be under the ear, so there's no fancy over the ear here. In fact, it's extremely uncomfortable. In fact, over the ear is just completely not even possible with this pair of headphones. It feels pretty sturdy. And it's got a nice tuck fit. There are no kind of ear tips or any sort of removable parts for this, so this is as is. The remote control, it seems to have um, click buttons here. And here's the mic on the back. All right, for kicks, since I don't have my new phone to try this on, it seems like, you know, um, Type-C. So I'm going to stick it into my Mi 5. Hopefully, let's we'll see if it works. Oh, and it does actually work. So that's interesting. Didn't, ex didn't expect that. So it's good to know that these headphones actually work with other phones. Uh, I'm, ve I'm very, very surprised. You got good sound coming through. The advantage of this um, that they're saying is that this is um, lossless. So it keeps basically the digital format until the very last moment and then it goes into your ears. So, hope, um, so the idea behind this is that it's gonna be a um, higher music quality. Uh, so it does seem to support the Mi 5, so I'm not sure what other phones does the support, and I'll try to find out. But I'm actually pleasantly surprised about this. 
In terms of everything else, you do have to note that because it plugs into the USB Type-C, you're not going to be able to charge your phone whilst you're going to be listening to music. So this is not a problem for the Mi 5 because, well, you got another connector here uh, for your traditional headphones, but on the LE, uh, LE2, they don't have the traditional sockets, so you're going to have to do with this. So no, no listening to music while it's charging. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions about this device, post them below and I'll try to answer them. I will post a full review of the sound quality. I think it's one of the most important factors and I do have to listen to them a bit more before I give a full review. So guys, if you guys have any questions, comment below. And if you guys want to watch more videos about headphones, Android devices, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.